you talk about sustainability and I assume the term green is meant to be in the term of sustainability, there are many aspects. There are quantitative aspects, there are qualitative aspects. And some of these aspects are about infrastructure, about the kind of energy we get, the amount of energy we use, that's something we can control. The way we live, the way we use energy, the way how responsible we are personally, that's something we can control with our buildings and it does contribute to the quality of sustainable buildings and a sustainable city. But in the end we have to think broader, we have to think about infrastructure, we have to think about the energy that is provided to our buildings. The energy we use in the cities, we have to think about that. So we cannot really consider buildings isolated without the infrastructure, without the uh, city. Our buildings, if we do sustainable buildings, they are far more efficient if they work within a framework and not isolated. So infrastructure, energy, water, wastewater, air quality are an important element of it. I have offices in Germany, two offices, one in Stuttgart, one in Munich, and then one office in the United States. But I have worked beyond that also in Switzerland, in Italy, in France and in many different countries and each country has a very different approach to sustainability and to the sustainability discussion. The United States are catching up fast, United States are catching up fast right now. We have done a building lately in Baltimore which is I would say more progressive, more sustainable than any building we could do in Germany, for example, because the client is more dedicated. So it is, it depends a little bit the clients, or very much the clients. The problem in the United States in general, by the average quality of architecture is so bad in the United States, and also the sustainability discussion is that they have a different procurement and they have a different way of client and leasing and building. It's all spec buildings, or most of it is spec buildings, speculative buildings. And the client who hires us to build the building will not be the users. They probably don't even own the building anymore once it's finished. In my personal opinion, all conferences, serious conferences, that talk about architecture, the quality of architecture, and sustainability is an aspect of architecture. It's one of the disciplines, even, even though we perceive it as very important right now, and it is important right now, but whenever there is something new, a new aspect in architecture, it makes itself very prominent and important in the architecture. Think about structural and the Eiffel Tower or all these new aspects in architecture. And these conferences will educate people, that's one aspect, but more important so I think is to really make people aware that this is a topic, an interesting topic that also broadens and widens our, the architect's possibilities. A lot of people think the, the discussion about sustainability restrains the quality and possibilities of design. This is nonsense. It broadens the possibilities of design. It's a new aspect, design aspect. And these conferences help to support this, to also help us architects arguing about it and convincing clients about it.